Hey guys, Thunderstud here bringing you what's virtually a very old deck, but it's been giving new life with Xyz and Altergeist. I think Altergeist weren't around when this deck was... It's a very old deck, honestly, but uh, it was lower tier Cancer. Didn't really see much. Now it's more of a fully fleshed deck thanks to Xyz, thanks to Altergeist. It's a lot to get into, super cool stuff. So now I'm sure... You guys knew well before I did that trap monsters were going to be great for Xyz summoning and they are just that. But we have some really interesting interactions that work with this deck and mostly Temple of the Kings. So Temple of the Kings, you can activate one trap card the turn it was set. So two card combo immediately. You have your Altergeist Marionetter and your Temple of the Kings. You normal summon Marionetter, set your boy Emulatif. That's a really weird... or you, Amuletelf? You set Amuletelf, now with Kings you get to bring out your Amuletelf immediately. That's two level 4 monsters. You can bring out Utopia, you can bring out Sukiyomi who will discard hopefully your one card hand, draw two. Or you could bring out Gagaga -ga -ga Samurai, use ties that binds, maybe sneak in a OTK from there. So uh, works out great. Now, if two card combos don't do it for you, we also have three card combos. So if you have our Circuit, our Temple of the Kings, and one of our many, many trap monster monsters, you can just use your Temple of the Kings, set your monster, bring your monster out, thanks to Temple of the Kings, normal summon your Circuit with one tribute, and now, guys, now that you have a Circuit, you can send Mystical Beast of Circuit in your monster zone, and this card you control to the graveyard, Special summon from your hand or deck or one fusion monster from your extra deck. You can only use the effect of Temple of the Kings once per turn. So you can cheese out a fusion monster. We're running three. Of course we have the Ojama King Cancer. He'll block your opponent's field. We have Narchuria Gaius Trio. Now he works almost exactly like uh, the other Gaia. I can't think of it. It's Dark Calvary. So it's almost like Dark Calvary. But uh, just the same, essentially. When he's targeted, or something that targets exactly one card on the field, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, negate the activation, and destroy it. Very strong at 3200. Or we have Barbaroid, very crazy monster. You can make a second attack during each battle phase. This card cannot attack your opponent directly, though. After damage calculation, if this card attacked an opponent's monster, Negate the effects of that monster. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict a thousand damage. So you just want some face-up attack position monsters, and then you can sneak those OTKs in really cheesy ways. It's really, really great stuff, guys. So that's what it is. You got two card combos, or just normal anguish pattern instances of destructions into Xyz summonings. Xyz really make this deck more than just memes more than just cancer works out really crazy i wish i got more replays of the two card combo of altergeist temple of the kings that's a good one or a uh, first turn utopia all that cool stuff but uh generally just you know trap monster wins fusion cheese that's how it goes it's actually pretty great stuff so i hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching all right here's an old school set of kaiba we're going second No sleeper map for a boy, he's all business. Going with that peak performance, but look at what we got. We have the combo already, guys. Circuit, Temple of the Kings, and take your pick on any trap monster you want. We are fighting Black Wings. This boy's starting with all he's got. Brings out a Raikiri. He's got a Zephyros going too, he's got everything. Special summons another Gale. Synchros into that Hawk Joe boy. Normal summons a Bora. He's set on his field, but boy oh boy, is he gonna catch a nightmare? We get our Temple of the Kings, set our Immulatel. Super weird name. Normal summon our Circuit. That's Temple of the Kings. You get rid of the Circuit, get rid of the spell card. Here comes Barbaroid. Oh man, is he gonna put a herd on this guy? 2200 plus 1000 with the effect. Then we get a swing over the Raikiri 2 and finish him with 1300. He had another thousand damage coming, so we were doing even more than he could take. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Band of Keith. 
going second. Let's see what our boys got for us. Using Dark Magician, that new d Dark Magician on both his sleeve and mat. We got Temple of the Kings and our Sir or uh, Marionetter. So that's a two card combo. Xyz monster right there. Boy searches Dark Magical Circle. Dark Magical Circle gives him a Dark Magician. Then he sets two. Not a big deal. We get a Sir Cat. Now we go into three card combo territory, guys. So we could have done an Xyz summon. I'm not doing many Xyz summons because I'm getting lucky and getting these three cards. But we had a two card combo Xyz summon. All we'd have to do is normal summon Marionetter. Bring out what Marionetter set. Then we have two level 4 monsters. That's whatever Xyz monster we want. But here, we're going for even cheesier. We get rid of our Temple of the Kings. We have just the card for Dark Magician. We get our Gaius Trio. He's going to try to navigate. It's not going to work. He's going to try to target us. All we got to do is throw away a monster. We throw away the Anguish Pattern. Dark Magical Circle is destroyed. We're still too big for the boy. Destroy Dark Illusion. Call it a turn. He activates another Dark Magical Circle. It will not help him. He gets his Navigation. Quick plays an Illusion Magic. Gets rid of his Rod. That means the Navigation is live. Uses a third Navigation. He's already had set. Brings out three Dark Magicians. Three different Dark Magicians. Tries out Dark Magical Circle again. Throw away our Marionetter. Gets destroyed again. Sets his third Navigation. We are not scared of that. We're going to tie set bind. Swing over one Dark Magician. Your turn. What can he possibly top deck? A Dark Magical Circle is not going to help him. He already used all his navigations. Nothing else is really going to help him. We set a trap monster, but he's already scooped. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here's an Odeon. Going second. It's got a pretty cool sleeve and mat combo over there. We got two Ultra Geists, a Sir Cat, an Anguish Pattern. Not really much symmetry. But we're going to start with the Ultra Geist. That's going to give us two of our trap monsters with an Anguish Pattern. That means we're going to get popping. Ties up binds. We're already threatening life points. He's going to hit us with a Karma Cut. No big deal. It throws away another Regeki Break. So this boy's full of traps, as Odeons often are. Trying to end his phase. We're going to hit him with an Anguish Pattern and another monster, which means we're going to pop that back row. It, of course, was another trap. Swallow Flip. Negate the activation of effect monster that uh, when it's special summoned, including itself, and destroys it. Super random and specific. And hits uh, Anguish Pattern. It fits the bill. So here we get Temple of the Kings. We get to Normal Summon. Our Sir Cat. We could have done an Xyz Summon there. But we'd rather cheese our Ultimate Machine. Even though he can't attack directly, our boy still scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, well here's old school Seto Kaiba going second. Our boy's repping Alexis on the mat and sleeve. Pretty interesting. We're fighting Black Wings most likely. He's going first and confirms it is in fact Black Wings. Start with a Gale, not the best start. Searches another Gale thanks to peak performance. Sets a back row. We're nothing but trap monsters. We do get an Altergeist, which works for us. So now we get normal summon the Altergeist. He's 1600, already over this scale, even with peak performance. Ties up binds gets him up to 1700, and we're cooking. Here he's got a Cosmic Cyclone, our poor Tiki Curse, but that's okay. So uses another Black Whirlwind, but all he has is that other Gale. It's gonna give him a double search, but that's just a Gale, and I think a Squall. Or something like that. No, uh, Rain Shadow. Pretty random. So obviously not an optimal Black Wings, but still coming at us. And special summons the Squall. Special summons another Gale. This boy's got to get down and dirty with those tuners. But he's going to get hit by an Anguish Pattern with our Altergeist monster. That's going to destroy one. We hit one of the Gale. He gets our Marionetta regardless, but that's no big deal for us. Top deck another Anguish Pattern. Look at that, guys. We're able to set three more monsters. That's the difference in the changes to trap monsters. We used to not be able to do that. We would have been able to just set one more card. Would not have been as strong. Our boy Top Decks obviously gets nothing and scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are fighting a Blair. Didn't even know I fought a Blair with this deck. Super random, and you're about to find out why. We're going first. What meme cancer deck would be complete without a show from our boy 
Ojama King. Now this boy's using vampires and Blair on his sleeve and mask. It's actually pretty cool. So we set our anguish pattern with our template kings. That lets us bring about normal summon the circuit. First turn, guess what you get? You get the king. We throw the monster zones out the door and the boy scoops. That's what the deck's all about, guys. Now you have Xyz Depth. You have your normal trap monster plays. You have fusion cheese. It's a full deck now, so uh, it, it gets it in, guys. You're going to start seeing a lot, maybe not in general, but from me, definitely. You're going to start seeing a lot more trap monsters. They really work well with Xyz. You just need more Xyz. I already want more Xyz. I want different levels. I want level 5s. Where are the level 5s at so we can make some Cyber Dragon Xyz deck? Ooh, that's going to be wild. All this great stuff. Trap monsters are even stronger now, guys. They just keep getting love. Trap monsters just keep getting love, so stick with them. It's been great. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.